How the Central Park Conservancy Cares for Ball Fields. Video shots of Central Park's North Meadow ball fields with ball players swinging at hard balls. Marvin, groundskeeper, Central Park Conservancy, speaking. Here at North Meadow, you're playing on one of the best public baseball fields in New York City. One of the best things we have here in Central Park for our baseball field, we actually have professional pitching mounds, the actual regulated size mound. And I think that's important, especially for a young player working on their game. Teen ball players swinging and hitting pitches from a coach. Baseball coach speaking. You go to Brooklyn, basically it's flat. Here's regulation mound. The field's here, Diamond 11. That is the pro field. That's the major league field. Hardball and softball players speaking. Well, if there's no pitching mound, you're not getting real in-game experience because the angles are different. Non-baseball players aren't really going to get this, but it really does make a massive difference. I grew up here. I've been practicing here since I was five years old. I really like the guys that take care of the field. I think they work really hard for us. I really appreciate them. It's nice to be in the middle of our city, playing outdoors, enjoying the summertime. You can play grounds crews out here all the time, making sure that the grounds are perfect for us to play on and safe, and making sure that they don't get ruined. Wide shots of the North Meadow ball fields in the rain, with Central Park Conservancy employees removing accumulated water. Marvin speaking. So then we close the ball field after it rains because we get a lot of puddles and it's clay, so it gets mushy. It's a very unplayable surface. Video shots of Conservancy employees with rollers, hoses, and pumps removing water puddles from the ball fields. We basically start rolling. I like to consolidate the smaller puddles into larger puddles, and then we'll start pumping depending on the size of the puddles, either using the trash pump or hand pumps. And away goes trouble down the drain. Video shots of Marvin using a roller to remove the water and then using a tractor to level the now dry ball field. So when we disperse the puddles, half of that puddle is basically liquid clay. We take the tractor and kind of like pull the clay back into the hole. Then if it's still a little murky, we'll throw a little rapid dry down on the worst parts and we'll rake it in. So it's a constant fight trying to get the water out. That doesn't look like it's in play, but if a ball was to fall in that puddle, they would call it a dead ball. So somebody running in the home and that hits the dead ball, it can really mess up the game. It's about the integrity of the game, baseball, and I like to make sure that it's a pleasant experience by making it the best field possible, the closest to Yankee Stadium that I can do. It's, um, it's my passion. Central Park Conservancy, centralparknyc.org.